Meg, I vow to always be by your side, your rock that shares your burdens and weathers all storms. I vow to always listen to you. If we fight or struggle, I'll show grace and forgiveness. I vow to support you through thick and thin. I vow to push you and challenge you to be your very best, even if it may not seem like it at that time. If you're at your 10% from a stressful day or a hard day, I vow to be your 90%. I vow to give back stretches when spots may arise. We have fought through many battles, big and small, and we have grown so much from it. I'm so proud to call you my box buddy. Your tenacity to love is contagious. You always put others above yourself and are willing to forgive and see the benefit of the doubt in anyone. I vow to be the best father I can be for our children and show them that love and trust can conquer all. I vow to make time for you and our family regardless of how tired, stressed, or anxious I am. I can't wait to grow old and be by your side, Megan. You're my best friend, and I wouldn't want anyone else to share this crazy adventure we call life with. I love you, Mike. Michael Kenneth Crinion, my best friend, the love of my life, my husband from this day forward. It's you, it's always been you. From the moment that we met, I knew there was something special about you. It was not until you took me on the rooftop at Albion that I knew I needed to explore it more. And it was on the roof at your grandma's house that I knew I loved you and did not want to do this life without you. I cannot believe this day has finally come. I finally get to marry my best friend. God has truly blessed me by placing such an incredible man in my life. Today and always, I vow to trust and respect you as your own person and to realize that your interests, desires, and needs are no less important than my own. I vow to notice and acknowledge the positive things you do rather than get hung up on the negatives, to learn from our mistake and only make them once. I vow to not take your annoying behaviors personally, even though I really, really wish you would run the garbage disposal. I vow to remember that neither one of us is perfect, but will strive to remind myself of the ways we are perfect for each other. Lastly, I vow to always make you my number one, and to make our family our number one. To tell you how much you are loved every day. To roll over to kiss you goodnight, even if I'm finally comfortable. To remind you that it has always been you, and it always will be you, until the very end. I love you, Michael.